Natalie Goddard. I'm the Head of Biology here at Cardiff Sixth Form College and I've been here for five years. When I was younger, I had a childhood accident, a small accident, where I smashed my, my tooth falling over a wall. And that led to me needing to visit the dentist quite a lot. And actually, I realised that I got to miss school most afternoons. So I quite enjoyed going to the dentist in the end. And that combined really with my, my love and passion for biology made me think that I wanted to be a dentist. So initially, when I was in the sixth form, I thought I was about to uh, apply for dentistry. But from studying biology and chemistry, I soon discovered that there was a thing called biochemistry, and then I decided to go into biochemistry at university. So I went to Cardiff University and studied biochemistry. And when I joined, I thought it would be a really good idea to maybe join some clubs. So I decided to join Canoe Club because when I was in school I did uh, Duke of Edinburgh and I had to do canoeing then anyway, and I really enjoyed it. So I joined the canoe club and I, and I was okay. And then one Saturday in February, they decided to take us all on the trip, which was great and I was really looking forward to. I did tell them that I didn't have a wetsuit and they, they told me that was fine, that they would provide a wetsuit. So I turned up on a Saturday and discovered that there were no wetsuits, they'd already given it out. But it's fine because you only need a wetsuit if you're going to capsize, and I had no intention of capsizing. It turns out that I was a bit of a liability. I capsized four times that day, almost ended up with hypothermia, and yeah, basically it was a complete disaster, and I never went back. <laughs> in my previous school. I really enjoyed it and I was really fortunate that I got given lots of A-level biology classes to teach. It was then I started thinking that maybe I'd really love to work in a college rather than a school environment and it just so happened by chance when I was at an examiner's meeting I bumped into a member of senior management from Cardiff Sixth Form College. They happened to have a biology teacher's job that had just been advertised. I got talking to her, next minute I know I'm here having an interview the atmosphere in the college is incredibly calm and that's one of the things I think is quite unique about this, especially considering that this is a college full of students, young students who are learning. And I think that's something that I really, really enjoy about the college. Also, the staff that work here are incredibly supportive and when I joined they made me feel incredibly welcome. And they're also really, really professional, so they're expertly qualified. If I had any questions, I knew that I could go to them. But mostly, what sets this college apart is the students. The students here are absolutely wonderful. They are incredibly polite and I learn probably more from the students than the students learn from me. So when I was about 18 years old, I realised that the challenge that was facing me at that time seemed to be the ability to pass my driving test. I wasn't a bad driver, I think I was actually quite a good driver, but every time I had a driving test, I couldn't really hear the instructor or the examiner because all I could hear was my own heart beating. So I failed my first test and I think I probably failed by the time I got to the end of the road. I failed the second test for, again, something similar. On one of my tests, I failed because I reversed, uh, or I rolled backwards down the hill. And on the fourth time, I managed to pass. So that, at that point, when I was 18, was a bit of a challenge to me. My one piece of advice for students at the college is try to remember that success is not measured by your title, your job title, your examination success. That's just part of the story. If you're happy, then I take that that you've been successful in that.